Few fictional characters have made such a long, evolving impact as DC Comics, Cape Crusader, Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, who reside in Gotham City. It is a character that has been taken in several forms and spawned into several franchises like video games, comics, and TV series besides movies. This is a character everyone is familiar with, and during this series, Batman the Cape Crusader will take a deep dive into the mythology of the famous comic book hero. The animated world of Gollum and our favorite crusader goes without saying one of the most crucial part of the mythology behind the character. It's cheaper and easier with the cartoon genre and make action scenes that would either cost too much or would be not possible as a live action film. Batman Mask of the Phantasm is one of the first films that was animated with Batman in the latest canon. It's from 1993 with Kevin Altieri, Boyd Kirkland and Frank Parr all sharing the directing duties. Kevin Conroy, who has been honored to voice Bruce in other productions as well, is a renowned name when it comes to animated features such as TV series and films of high production value. It was the first film set in DC own animated universe and the productions took 8 months to finish. The first film in animated form was a satisfying start for DC and Warner Brothers animation department. Shortly after the release Batman the animated series came and everyone guessed that it's sincere brilliance in getting the groove back for the hero. It's still, after 30 years, considered the best animated series out there. This was a series that contained 85 episodes and again featured Kevin Conroy as Batman and had Mark Hamill voicing Joker in a recurring role, which later on has become a nice gig. It was in the 90s a major milestone for the animation industry and many shares fond memories of it. It's job to be the best animated series ever made after The Simpsons. Conroy talked with Mark Hamill when watching the animation for the first time. I was really blown away. I turned to Mark and I was like, did you have any idea we were working on something like this? But the series didn't start in 1990s. Instead, we must go to the 1960s to look at the first series to the Adam West moment in the spotlight as Bruce Wayne. The adventures of Batman were segmented into a collective Batman Super Hour. It ran for 17 episodes and followed up on Adam West's popular live action show. It was also called Batman with Robin, the boy wonder. Batman and Robin, a dynamic duo against crime and corruption, whose real identity is his millionaire philanthropist Bruce Wayne and his young ward Dick Grayson. Watch out, villains! Here come Batman and Robin! <laughs> Super Friends, which ran for 93 episodes between 1973 and 1986, had Batman joining something of a Justice League team. Batman was companioned by Robin. It was cancelled twice before it was axed for good. It was even in this series that Batman and Robin joined Scooby Doo in two episodes. Each episode was 44 minutes long and featured Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Batman and Robin. Super Friends was followed by the ill-fated The New Adventure of Batman. Greetings Bat fans, this is Batman. Adam West and Burt Ward 
reprised their role from the 1960s. It was filled with bad ideas, as there is only one season with 16 episodes of the series. Back in the 1990s, after the success of Batman the Animated Series produced by Bruce Timm, DC and Warner Brothers Studios produced the new Batman Adventures, which was on air between 1997 and 1999. It had a new style for its 24 episodes. Harley Quinn was introduced properly. This was short after the disaster of Batman and Robin was released. Batman was the profit maker the studios were good for, so another film was grilled. Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub Zero from 1998 was another project Kevin Conroy was involved in. Shortly thereafter, Batman Beyond was another project. It's set within a cyberpunk futuristic Gotham City. Batman retires due to a heart condition. Bruce thereafter gives Janana T named Terry McGinnis the suit and role of the Cape Crusader. It ran between 1999 to 2001 with 52 episodes. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker premiered in 2000 in an edited version, then in 2002 in an uncut version, a film directed by Kurt Gera. It was a continuation of Batman Beyond, Batman the Animated Series and the new Batman Adventures. It was also the return of Mark Hamill as his interpretation of Joker that has later on become a very popular character of his. The studio released an edited version of Joker's death due to Columbine High School Massacre in April 1999. So where should I make ground zero? Gotham General, where our hero's dear little Dana is recuperating? Yoki lived in that version, but because of the online petition, fans more or less forced the team to realize the real uncut version. It's also the first film of Batman that uses digital ink and paint. Another batch of direct-to-DVD and TV series bonds has come after his film. It's too many to mention exactly here. We move on to Batman Mystery of the Batwoman. This film from 2003 is set before Batman Return of the Joker or continuation. The Batman a series between 2004 and 2008 and with 85 episodes was one of the more divisive aspects of the Cape Crusader. Batman was in this series voiced by Rino Romano. It has its own style. It also introduced Batgirl, Robin and Martian Manhunter. Batman the Brave and Oh, it's like a modernized version of the Adam West series. With 65 episodes between 2008 and 2011, it follows Batman teaming up with someone famous from the Silver Age. It was a fun and appreciated series by kids on Cartoon Network. Besides the original canon, we have Batman Year One and Batman The Dark Knight Returns, which is based on Frank Miller's comic book series. The series stands out from the others of the story. Batman Year One from 2011 is basically an original story about Bruce Wayne in his first years as the title tells. The other one from 2011. 13 is a retired hero. It returns to fight crime. Peter Sellers voice the broken protector in both parts. It's a film split in two, directed by Jay Olivia. At one moment, 
the producers wanted a live action film of the story starring Clint Eastwood. Another film that is worth mentioning in this is The Killing Yoke. An adaptation of the graphic novel of the same name, Kevin Conroy was Batman, is a big chunk of prologue with Barbara or Batgirl that gained controversy. So the filmmaker added it in a way, adding even more problems. Bruce Tim voiced fan concerns. Then we have Young Justice from 2010 with at least 98 episodes. And beware the Batman. Young Justice details the life of young heroes and is still running on HBO Max. Well, at least the fourth season. Beware Batman added a darker grim turn on the Cape Crusader. And Tony Rivar played Bruce Wayne. What's different with this one is that it never followed other storylines. Batman and Harley Quinn from 2017 were released with Sam Liu as director. Kevin Conroy returned as Batman again. It's the 29th film based on DC Universe animated original movies. Like so many other movies, it cuts below the 19. Bruce Team also wrote the story for this one as well. In this film, Batman meets Harley Quinn. Justice League action between 2016 2018 was the return of Kevin Conroy. It only lasted for 52 episodes and featured short episodes. It aimed also at a younger audience. An anticipated project that is in the pipeline is Batman Keep Crusader, which doesn't have had its premiere yet, nor how many episodes announced. J.A. Abrams and Matt Reeves are teaming up with Bruce Tim that made Batman popular with this Batman the animated series. It's said to be a reimagined series of Batman mythology. It's set to premiere in 2023. So what about the films? Well, we have got a Lego Batman. We got Batman in Space Jamal New Legacy. We'll earn it reprised Bruce twice as the Cape Crusader in the Lego version. The latest in 2022 is Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons with Kenny Reeves voicing Batman. Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons had the return of Troy Baker. If to say is that Batman is a recurring regular character showing up in several projects every year and this time it's no different. <laughs> 